What is good? It is your boy Chimmy's here, and we're back at it again with another reaction review. And today we have Joey Badass's, I guess it's not an EP, but a little project. It consists of three songs. It's called The Light Pack. Um, pretty excited for this. We haven't heard anything from Joey Badass uh, since I want to say the um, the Beast Coast project. Um, that I don't know. It was it was all right. Uh, I didn't I didn't find too too much to take away from that project. Um, I mean, and that was following his. I, I'd say probably the biggest album of his so far, the uh, American Badass. I also was not too big of a fan of that project either. But without further ado, we're not here to discuss none of that. I'm here to listen to good music. If it's, I hope it's it's maybe a throwback to some of his early stuff where it's just raw lyricism but without further ado the light pack first song of the light oh man immediately very strongly reminiscent of his uh of his earlier work of his 1999 project uh, before the money project very boom bappy very yeah pretty much the production already or at least like what I'm hearing right now is just I feel like what made people fall in love with Joey Badass in the first place when he was 16 years old that's hard that that's a that's a throwback to to a, to a song from 1999 world domination he said we bringing cats out from south africa to glasgow i guess you could say i got a mapped out uh, world domination so yeah he's been all over the place i mean joey badass has been extremely successful uh, with his music and even kind of jumping into the mainstream with uh all american badass even though i wasn't too fond of it or going too crazy over that project in particular I, I can definitely see why he chose to to make an album like that to to really get his name out and you know spread across and played on you know on the radio and everything so props to him bro he, he's he's done big 100 percent oh did i miss did i miss the bar the 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 bar that everybody's talking about um, death to mumble rap or something like that. This is mumble rap extermination. This is guarding interpolation. This is that who your top five conversation. Type of rap that right. fuck a Grammy nomination. Mm -hmm. Type of rap that I'm gonna take him to my yeah. It, it, it's just very interesting because the last maybe two years, Joey Badass has been very vocal about his support of mumble rap saying how it that he understands the appeal for it or the need for it essentially with the youth and why people are gravitating towards it so it is very weird for him to say this is mumble rap uh extermination makes zero sense very zero sense when you had artists like lil yachty which is almost could be viewed as you know the godfather of new mumble rap and he was saying how much he respects his craft like i i don't that kind of doesn't make any sense, but maybe he's turned a new viewpoint to, to music in general. No idea, no idea. But uh, I, I did like that. He's sounding very confident for sure. Uh, he said this is the type of rap um, for the, for the um, you know, top five conversation, you know, who's the greatest of all time, you know, that golden debate in hip hop. Mm -hmm. Very direct in his intentions. Um, pretty much saying that he's been laying down, but um, he's coming back to cl claim back what uh, claim back what is his essentially. The throne. Um, yeah, very confident, but I can't say I was extremely impressed by his lyricism or his wordplay, but just very confident. Next song is No Explanation. Ooh. Oh, those drums are nice. Uh, I can't wait for this push verse. 
cases. Murder niggas on black light. My whole career off a of crack, right? Olympic oh. diving in this money. Watch me jackknife. My rap life ain't like yours. I'm really going home to five stories and bright walls. Ty oh. James Payton's. He say he can catch a housewife. When niggas paying like they weighing, dropping outright. Oh. Get your count right. We can talk numbers. Single file out of my digits till next summer, niggas. Oh. I'm like the wizard of the eyes. On the yellow brick road, ride slow with the unbody dog. Fessy with the zombies at. Underground kings, niggas honor that. My four thinker make a more Rwanda back. Wow. Catch you where the zombies at. Underground king. That's pretty hard. Zombies are on the ground. All right, solid track. Um, yep, yeah, both of those verses were pretty good from, from both artists. Um, next song is Shine. Think like I'm Steve Jobs, Matthew Stone, see the world, all through Steve's eye, Dubai, Sam's Ah, fire. See the world all through. Did he say uh, my steez eye or steez eye? But um, either way, that that's a first of all uh, mention to to his close friend, um, Capital Steez, insane lyricist, uh, who was very into you know having your third eye open. And I believe just listening to some you know Joey Badass's songs, it seems like Capital Steez was very um, important in in showing. Joey that he needed to do the same thing, you know, you know, think with your third eye and uh, just yeah, higher mind, higher power, all of that. So that, that that's a nice uh, shout out for sure. The tracks running never come in last place. How's your bitch when I come around? She's not safe. No, she mm, keep the track running, never come in last place. Um, you know, running on a track, um, you know, a relay race, but keeping the track running, keeping keep the song going he's not he's not he's not gonna disappoint he's always gonna come in first he, he's saying he's the best um you know when when a track is is run is, is on and that's pretty hard Great production, by the way. Never let him tell you what your worth is. Respect gotta be earned, it can never be purchased. I done made with the rise, cause it ain't about what you paid, it's about what you got, nigga. Yeah, I got a lot Fire. on my mind. Not enough time, so I've been up on. Yeah, it seems like he's really just thinking and almost comparing his life from, you know, before fame and his life right now. And, um,. <laughs> He's doing pretty well. I mean, in his raps, I think he's referenced now three times that he's, you know, making seven figures. Um, and, you know, that yeah, he's doing very well for himself. And that, that's good to see. It's just good to see that comparison, especially when you just, like, compare his raps off of, like, 1999. I mean, obviously, he was 16, but still just seeing how far he's come, you know, from, you know, riding buses with friends and or the trains and now being a millionaire like, it's pretty crazy props to joey yeah. very braggadocious for sure all right but that concludes joey badass is the light pack first thoughts initial conclusions pretty solid uh nothing that i was going crazy over uh i do feel like he's maybe i don't know um maybe taking a step back to I guess what made, yeah, you know, like I said, made people fall in love with him in the first place, like back when he was 16, 18, um, 19, I, I got a lot of 1999, um, like, vibes, <laughs> for sure, um, or it did feel a, feel a bit reminiscent of Before the Money, which is my favorite album of his, by far, he, yeah, he, he chose to rap on these boom bap, really hip hop beats that yeah that that really embodied i guess the, the sound that he kind of maybe was brought up in or or that that he blew up off of essentially and yeah i think he did well i think he did deliver i don't think it was anything mind-blowing or you know crazy i don't think it tops you know for me at least i mean first listen obviously i don't think it tops anything that i've heard of him like before um on before the money 
or maybe even 1999 but these three songs do make me very excited for for his next album since he says this is just a these are just three singles like this isn't even the project it's not an ep just three singles yeah very looking forward to what he has in store nothing really to go off of no no real theme i mean um on the cover it says mind body and soul and has like you know each song for each you know stage but um other than that there isn't anything crazy really going on but yeah i'm not hating it at all um but i i wouldn't say i'm yeah like i said i'm not going crazy i'm not i'm not in love i'm not like run that back right now uh but solid solid versus solid work from joey but that's that i'll i guess i'll like leave some sort of written review in the description if anything comes to mind but for for the time being i, I feel like this will probably suffice just giving an initial reaction to these singles and waiting for the joey album but thank you all for watching thank you boy chim is yeah um let me know of any artists or albums or singles that you'd like me to listen to or maybe review it's been your boy